Hi, I'm Eric Klein and I'm with the Florida Wood Turning Symposium. If you're watching this video, nine chances out of ten, you're probably a volunteer to help the video uh, portion of our symposium. You're going to be helping demonstrators do a great job of demonstrating to a wide audience. What I'd like to do is take a minute right now and show you some of the features of the new cameras that we have incorporated. The Wood Turning Symposium in Florida has purchased the JVC Averio camera. It's a nice little camera, very compact, very small, and the nice part about this camera is it no longer uses tape. Everything is recorded in digital quality. You'll get a much better picture from this. This is going to hold, this is a small chip that goes inside, and this holds about 40 hours of video. Now, there's a few features that you need to know about this camera. It's relatively simple to operate, and I'm going to show you how it's operated. The very first thing you'll notice is on the front, there is a lens cover. This is designed to protect the lens. The way this is operated is a small switch located right here closed and open. Make sure when you are the person coming in to record video for the demonstrator that you have this open. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a really, really good picture on the inside of this shutter. You'll see nothing. The second thing I want you to know is this feature up here is for telephoto and for wide angle. This makes it close and this makes it far away. Telephoto, wide angle. The last feature that you need to know is this button right here. This button right here is what actually starts the recording of the video. That's all you need to know. When you come in, this is going to be all set up for you and all you need to do is start the recording and make sure that you do the correct amount of telephoto, sorry, telephoto and wide angle here. Now, how do you turn this camera on? Just like that. When you turn this camera on, this is going to go ahead and it should remind you to first of all check to make sure that the shutter is not closed. If the shutter is closed, open the shutter. This next thing you're going to see when you're looking at this close up is you're going to see this type of a display. It is not recording right now. How do I know? See that little green that says it's on stop or pause. When you start recording, it will go to record and that way you know you're capturing the demonstrator. One of the things that you need to remember is that you are the person that is providing the view for everybody sitting in the audience. So it's real important that you give these people as good a view as you possibly can because what they want to see is they want to see how the demonstrator does the turning and does the chipping away of the wood. So it's real important that you give them as good a shot as you possibly can. What you have here is you have a good shot from far away of what the demonstrator is going to be doing and the piece that he's going to be working on. What they want to see is very important is they want to see the demonstrator's chisel tip touching the wood. They want to see the wood chips fly. So you want to give them as good a shot of this because the audience is going to be sitting over there. They can't see what the wood turner is doing at this stage. That's your job to provide them that view. So they want to see the tip touching the wood. When it comes time for the wood turner to be working on the inside of his piece, once again, they want to see the tip touching the wood. You may have to move the camera back and forth in order to give them the best shot that you possibly can. That's pretty much what we're looking to do. So let me give you some examples of some good shots and some bad shots. This is an example of a good shot. You can see the tip of the chisel or the cutting tool meeting the wood. That's what they want to see. This is an example of a bad shot. You cannot see either my face completely, nor can you see the tip of my chisel cutting the wood. Try to avoid these shots. It's real important to work with the demonstrator. When the demonstrator has something to show, like the tip of his tool or a certain angle of a grind or something to that effect, what you want to do is you want to ask the demonstrator to take that small thing, lay it on the tool rest, so that you could go ahead and give him a close-up shot of what he's trying to show. 
The close-up shot that you give will show on both of the TV monitors that are set up in the room and everybody will get a good shot of that. Unfortunately, if the demonstrator is waving the tool in the air, the people sitting in the last row cannot see what he's talking about when he's referring to that. So please remind him to put the tool on the tool rest so that you can give him a good close-up shot. And that's about it. It's a relatively simple procedure. Just make sure you're doing two things. When the demonstrator is trying to show something small to the audience, you make sure that you get a good close-up shot. And the best way to do that is make sure you and the demonstrator agree to the point where that's going to occur. The best place to do that is on the tool wrist. The second thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that when the demonstrator is turning wood, you are showing the point of contact between the chisel and the wood. That's about it. Thank you very much for volunteering for the Florida Wood Turning Symposium, and we hope you have a great time while you're there. Thank you.